It's the year 2023. Guess what? If you see using any of the OBS plugins to improve your audio quality or to keep the background noise on your recording, trust that particular plugin. Trust me because before the end of this video, I'm going to show you a trick that you can actually use to improve your audio quality using the OBS software. Now, the best part is this setting I'm about to share with you can be applied on any mic at all, even a mic of $2, a mic of $3, $4, $8, and you'll still be able to sound professionally using the OBS software. So even in your church or your organization or your conference, that you're recording you see be able to apply these settings i'm about to share with you Everything here is done using the OBS software, including the recording, my mic, and everything is using the OBS software, okay? So, and the first thing that you're going to do is to go ahead and open the OBS software that you're using. Click on this three dot line down here below the mic. So click on it, this mic and auxiliary here. So go ahead and click on the three dot line below it and then go over to properties. And click on the properties and on the properties, you'll be able to see all the custom mic here on the device that you've already plugged in on the system. And this is one of them. This mic that you're seeing right now hearing, that is the one I'm using and that is the jack mic. So you'll be able to see all the list of custom mic you've already plugged in on your system. Okay, now select the particular one that you want to make use of and click on OK. And once you've already done that, you'll be able to see the mic moving just like as mine is moving right here. Click on the three dot line and then go over to filters. And click on the select the filters and push this back. And then from here, you'll be able to see audio filters. Now, this is where you'll be able to apply the tricks that I'm going to show you in this video. Click on this plus sign here, this add button here. So click on that. Once you've done that, select the limiter. Okay, so select the limiter and click on OK. Now, once you've already selected the limiter, let me just a quick one. Let me explain what the limiter does. It uh, prevents your mic from, you know, going beyond a certain level. Now, if the mic is too close to you, or you shout it's allow it not to go below that a uh, certain uh, levels that you've already set for it on that way your mic won't sound you know the sound won't change or why the mic is close to your lips it's your sound won't change or mic why the mic is far from you the sound won't change you to be able to maintain a balanced tone while you are talking okay even with the mic close to you all right and that is what it does and then the next one you're going to select click on the add button again which is the plus sign here click on that and then you go over to the noise suppression okay so the noise suppression to here before you can do this using any of the OBS plugin because it has the functionality has not been added then on the OBS software. But now it has been added. So meaning you don't need that plugin that you're currently using to improve your audio quality. You can actually do all of this using this feature here right now. So click on the noise suppression tools. And this is how my mic sound without the noise suppression tools applied. And then this is how it sound after I've applied it. Okay. Now click on the noise suppression tools and you see the method here. On the method you see the rn noise good quality and more cpu usage if you select the rn noise it improves your audio quality and cues the background noise very well but it's going to use more cpu okay now if you select this um xpex the xpex will use a low cpu usage but it gives you a low audio quality because you still be able to hear your background noise clearly so i like to use the rn noise because it gives me a good audio quality do it makes use of more um cpu okay now after you've done that click on the add button again this add button here click on it again and the next one you're going to select is the noise gate okay select the noise gate here and click on OK. And this is the noise gate right here on the screen. You can play around with the number and set it, you know, the level that you want it to be on. This is the three I currently make use of. One, the limiter, the suppressor, and then the noise gate. So these are the three I currently make use of. You can go ahead and click on the add button and add the gain or the expander. And for the gain, if your mic volume is low and you want to be able to increase the volume, okay, you want to increase it so people can hear what you are saying on your live stream. So you can go ahead and add the gain and go ahead and also add the expander now you are seeing the dedicated ndi output audio only here and this one this particular one it's for when you are sending your audio obs audio um outputs to restream or to ev mocks or online web-based uh, streaming uh, platform so you can be able to use this dedicated ndi output here to be able to send those your mic um audio to those platforms that are web-based streaming platforms okay 
and then you can go ahead and add the see the upward suppression and so many other things here that the three band equalizer so you can go ahead and test all of them and add them and this will help you to increase or rather improve your audio quality while using the obs software so this is the three i currently make use of here so these three apply them on my live stream and they help me to achieve a good audio quality if you find it helpful consider subscribing to the channel and also a like will be appreciated thank you very much and see you on the next one